New characters are coming in. Miriam Margulies. Yes. Now, yeah. I bet that was a hoot. It was. It Off was screen and on. <laughs> a laugh a minute. It was brilliant. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised we got anything done. Helen yeah. George is back, which is great. I know she was off in real true life mm -hmm. of having a baby and in the series of sorting out being a boozer. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully that's all, that's all sorted out now. She's a great character, though. All of, all of you are, though. And there's a real vulnerability there as well. She's a really sort of... Um, I've always really loved Trixie, even before I was in the show, because she's sort of a surprising, she's a surprising depths, I suppose. Yeah, I think yeah. she's a really interesting character in that way. And yeah, she's she's back, and it's Hurrah. really lovely to have her back, and she's in fine form. Still upset about Nurse Barbara, though. That was really that yeah, really that was, was a hard. toughie, wasn't that it? That was very yeah. hard to watch. She died in the last series. Um, yeah. Sorry if you've not seen. I've just <laughs> done a massive. Sp I should have gone spoiler alert, shouldn't I? But it really was sad, and that's the yeah. thing about Call the Midwife. People who maybe I can't imagine there's anybody that hasn't watched it, hmm. but people that haven't might think it's a sort of quite a cosy show it's really not it's a, yeah. it's a show with a heart mm. real heart but deals with so many tough uh, subjects it's it's, it's hard hitting yeah, you know everything that they so. tackle is 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 tricky and often things that haven't been touched on in primetime telly before you know it's a, they really sort of push boundaries in that way no definitely we've had mm. things like wife beating mm. you know homophobia yeah racism Absolutely. all sorts of things are yeah. in there they really are but what i like about them is, is that this gang of people mm -hmm. are all really good people they are, yeah. It's good Always to see that. trying their best, doing yeah. their best. So sometimes yeah. it doesn't work out, but sometimes it does. Yeah. There has been talk in the way that they're doing with Downton, mm. talk of a, a Call the Midwife movie, which would be a good thing. It would. I mean, it would be lovely. I mean, I think that the Christmas specials are sort of like movies in their own right. Indeed, because it's ninety minutes, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So they kind of are in, yeah. in their own way. Yeah. That and they get one every year. <laughs> it makes perfect sense. It does. So we're getting into the nineteen sixties now. That's it. So that's the thing about the show as well. It reflects different attitudes. You're know, mm -hmm. changing attitudes. You know. It talked about, again, tackled things like thalidomide, mm -hmm. you know, women being on the pill, you know, contraception, all of that. And we're going to see some fashion. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we can see oh, that yeah. here. <laughs> see some good fashion. Again, that's, that's great because it's, it's, that's what gets so right. It's all its time. It's properly the 60s now, yeah. you know, it's 64. So there's no sort of over, over like from, from the 50s anymore. We're fully into that, you know, with sort yeah. of mini skirts and this, this series especially is really exciting with all the costumes. Every episode has something <laughs> kind of like a showstopper. It's amazing. Our, our costume designer is Claire. She's amazing. And yeah, it's. So we'll obviously see this on lovely. Christmas Day, but yeah. as you said, the new series is coming out mm. in January. Yes. Which is it's perfect. It's the perfect time, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, a bit of a. When the weather's rubbish and you just want to sit <laughs> and, and, and just sit and let it wallow in the gorgeousness yeah, of it. Something to look forward to. In real true life, though, you've been mingling with royalty, Prince Charles. You know. For his 70th just birthday. Just casually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's great. What did you have to do? Um, well, I've, I've spent a fair amount of time with the Royal Shakespeare Company. Of course. And um, he's obviously a patron and. Um, we sort of performed uh, a scene from a show that he particularly enjoyed. Okay. Uh, so it was it was me and uh, various other my cast members and Judy Dench and Kenneth oh, Branagh and Stephen Fry. Yeah, just you know, <laughs> little up and coming somebody. Yeah, <laughs> some um, new up and coming. Talent. So that was sort of surreal and mad. And we spent the day at, uh, at Buckingham Palace, which was equally as <laughs> equally as mad. Um, and it was yeah, a bit wild, really, sort it's of surreal. Been, isn't it mm. fantastic that the job you do can get you to do all these incredible experiences? Things I never knew. I would yeah. do, you know, looking over the sort of main courtyard in Buckingham Palace and oh. thinking, this is absolutely. I know. And then crazy being that in I get to do this. the most watched show on the most, you know, the day Christmas Day is when most people watch telly anyway. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it is the, more than, even than the Queen's speech. I hope you didn't mention that to Charles. <laughs> <laughs> you should have just said, said, you should said slip. <laughs> actually, we beat your mum. <laughs> we beat your mum in the ratings. It's just, it's great, isn't it? Yeah. It really it's, it's, it's sort of, yeah, a bit kind of nerve wracking. Before it yeah. comes on, you think, oh gosh, all these people, <laughs> all these people looking at my face. <laughs> it's a bit strange, but um, it, yeah, it's a real privilege.